The Optimus Creed. Promise yourself to be so, so strong, strong that, that nothing, nothing can disturb, disturb your peace of mind. mind. To talk health, happiness, and prosperity to every person you meet. <laughs> to make all your friends feel that there is something in them. To look at the sunny side of everything and make their optimism come true. To think only of the best, to work only for the best, and to accept only the best. To be just as enthusiastic about the success of others as you are about your own. <laughs> to forget the mistakes of the past and press on to the greater achievements of the future. To wear a beautiful countenance at all times and give our every living creature to you, me, a smile. Three, four, with actual whip. To give so much time to the improvement of yourself and you have no time to criticize others. Too large for worry. Too noble for anger. Too strong for fear. And too happy to permit the presence of trouble. Well, I moved, I moved to Lodi in June of 1966. Sauk Prairie Optimist Club. I was trying to start a club in Lodi. And it was a natural fit for me. One of the big projects early on was a ski. Ski tow lift out on the golf course. Well, the <clears throat> Super Bowl breakfast certainly has been a, a long, long-standing fundraiser too. And I think I think we're well respected. Uh, our work with the youth, uh, we've, we've done a real service, and I think it's recognized in the community. Goal. We just needed an organization that would do community work. There were 30, they had to be 35 members before Optimus would sanction a club, which we had. I think one of the first big programs was the Little League, the little, the, 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 little, the youngsters that played ball in the summertime. It gave the kids in the summertime something to do. The youth programs, we had over 1,500 kids at one time not all in one activity, but with all the activities. We had added Arlington and Poinette and Lodi, those three areas. And that's why you see on our land, Lodi, Arlington, and Dane, excuse Dane, me, I said Poinette, wrong. Dane, thing. and then a lot of our organizations that have athletics wanted to be affiliated with us so that they could get an insurance. Mm -hmm. Now they don't really have to be affiliated anyhow, but that, those changes, those rules have relaxed. But Bob, that was a good point to bring. That's that's one of our major things. But Bob Ham, not over 15 and possibly 10 years ago when he was president. So our insurance program hasn't been going that long. Well. Miss Club? Well, I was, uh put a little pressure on, or my uncle put a little pressure on me to, to join the club because he was, he was a real underseller and, and he was the one that got it going with the money. And what birthday did you celebrate this year? This year? This year. 101. 101. I would say that you are our optimist club. <laughs> <laughs> that well, it's, I like what they're doing, what they're for, and, and uh, it's, it's no, no nonsense. It's, it's really not a business to help people out. Well, you get to know, know each other a lot better through, a, through the Optimus Club. We help each other, and uh, it has happened several times when Bob hasn't been able to go, go, and there's always somebody else that's willing to, yeah. to pick Actually, me up. Mm -hmm. Our insurance program, the funding that we give to the community, and the support, and then the camaraderie that we have every Wednesday noon, uh, those are the things that I'd like to see continue. That's great.
My wife and I both retired in 1989, and I'd wanted to be an optimist uh, club member for a number of years. In the past, I had been a Rotarian, a Kiwanian, and uh, also an optimist club member in lacrosse. And I liked their motto, and at that time was a friend of the, the boy. Well, I think there are several important memories. Uh, one certainly is when we started the uh, uh, One Mother of a Run. Mm -hmm. That's a very important run. And another one that uh, I'm quite proud of, and that is that uh, we started the pig raffle the year I was president. Because before that, they had the car raffle, and uh, the cars were getting too expensive. Mm -hmm. When the club's been 50 years. I've been in the club for um, 33 years, 33 years. And I joined it because I bought the paper and I needed to become engaged in the community and embrace the community. members. Jim Peterson and Dean Hillestead, I think, coerced me initially. So I had high pressure salespeople, effective salespeople. Well, talking to you suggests a re is a reminder of one of the bigger changes. We became co-ed, so that was a that was a big change, and I think it was a real positive change uh, for the group and more reflective of what's going on in the community. And well, I hope we can continue with the um, the values that propelled us from the beginning of serving our community. So, so I think the optimists deserve a lot of credit for planting a lot of positive seeds uh, for kids. I'm very proud of the club and very proud of having a role, well, not just in athletics, but also in this, and for, in terms of why we're here today, for good government. That's one of the tenets of what the club is about. And I think we do a very, um, I, think, I think these forums serve as an important contribution to the public dialogue. And I feel good about, about that contribution, and I hope that uh, uh, that the people that succeed us and that, that are going to be the current torch bearers are mindful of the richness of this legacy and the nature and the depth of the contributions that we make. Reach Out Lodi would like to congratulate the optimists on their 50 years of service to the Lodi community. And we would also express our gratitude and our gratefulness for what you have done for Reach Out Lodi. Congratulations, Optimus Club, 50 years.